First, it's a robot that can save a lot of lives. Purdue University reported last spring that there were at least 29 grain entrapment cases documented in 2021. While that number represents a solid decrease from the peak of 40 cases back in 2011, a pair of UNL graduates are seeking to bring that number down to zero. Market Journal's Mike Straub gives us a closer look at advice that couldn't make that a reality. It's called the grain weevil. Grain bins may look safe from the outside, but if you've ever had to climb inside one, you know that they can pose a dangerous risk. In 2019, the Daily Yonder reported that grain entrapments rose 27%, with deaths rising by 53% the same year. Realizing that lives are at risk, two young Nebraskans formed a partnership which will help keep people out of grain bins altogether. So actually we were approached by our farmer friend who, uh, who saw us, you know, kind of tinkering around with robots and asked us one day, he said, you know, I never want to climb into a grain bin again, and I have some kids that I know that one day might have to climb into a grain bin. I never want them to have to go through that. So I want you guys to build me a robot so that no one ever has to go through that process ever again. The Grain Weevil robot is a grain bin safety and management robot. It scurries across the top of the grain using auger-based propulsion, and this allows us to manipulate the grain so we can break up clumps and bridges, level the bin, um, and help with the e efficient extraction of the grain when you're taking it out. The two recent engineering graduates designed the robot to be small and streamlined, ensuring it can move freely within the grain bins. Our small 18 inch by 20 inch robot allows us to be mobile inside of the bin. Um, unlike other solutions, which are big, heavy, attached to every bin, um, expensive products, we're able to move from bin to bin. We're able to do more complex tasks, um, like breaking up specific clumps or fixing small areas inside of a bin. So we started kind of with a lot of off the shelf uh, devices. So we, we hit the ground running with that. And then slowly I've been transitioning over to our own proprietary software. So it's been about a, a year long process to get that all shifted over. So right now we're able to do temperature as well as ambient humidity. Um, we're working towards some more grain quality measurements, um, but those are more complex. And so we'll be working through those this summer. Um, so right now we have a remote control that we just drive manually, but in the future we hope to have it be completely autonomous. The farmer only has to drop the, the robot into the bin and then just walk away and let it run. Other future changes include more data sampling options as well as cameras, so farmers can keep an eye on what's happening inside the bin. Both Zane and Ben are optimistic about the grain weevil's future as they can see technological changes happening within the industry. We're pushing as fast as we can. We're really passionate to get this thing out there as quickly as possible to help the farmers. So in the future, hopefully in the next 10 years, we see every farm as having some sort of grain bin management system on it, and we hope to be that system. So we hope that the grain bin, the grain weevil is on grain bins all across the United States and hopefully eventually internationally. I think that grain bins and farming in general is becoming more tech advanced. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of, a big push on the safety. Um, as well as the management side, because we, we can improve the storage process that we currently have. Um, and I think that there's going to be tools that will help and aid the farmer in that process. And I think that we have something that can definitely help that process. And what we always say is, farmers know a lot about what's going on inside of their bin. They have sensors, they have the ability to learn, I have a hotspot, I have something going on, but n now we're creating something that can safely do something about those problems. The grain weevil is going into testing at five farms across the nation. Ben and Zane hope that these tests can help fine tune the robot to work faster and more efficiently in the future. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Mike Straub.